What did you think about Soldier Slim? Man, Soldier Slim was special. He was special, bro. Did you ever get a chance to talk with him I, or yeah, meet him? I, I met him one time. I met him one time at a uh, at a teen club one time. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, I, I love the fact of how you your ear is different than mine. Yeah. You over there really like what? Who started to bounce music in 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 New Orleans? In New Orleans. You know, you know, people say it's you know, the T.T. T. Tucker and uh, DJ Herb or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I heard about other, you know, people before them too or whatever. But it was around the same time or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, you know. Okay. Oh, you just going to let me run the whole thing? Well, you got it because I sure am the one to do that. Cut up, You know, when, when it come down to Jump the when you ready. It's she, all good. She, act like she, she don't have nothing to say because I get into this music mode and she she Jamaican. Yeah. Have you ever well, thought about working with a Jamaican uh, 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 artist? I done work with a Jamaican artist Who? before. I done been a Jamaican I got a couple to, of see, times. See, I got to do this whole thing. Hold he on one second. Hold like on one that. second. I got to do this whole thing. I'm in Jamaica now, just so you know. Uh -oh. I'm in Jamaica now. Now, let's go. Yeah, right. Don't worry about it. I love Just Jamaica. hold on. Right. Let's go. So basically, you have worked with Jamaican artists. Yeah. Who yeah. was it? I don't. I don't even know his name. But he hit you up. Yeah. And you. How did? How? How do you deal with a different culture in the music? You know what I mean. It, it's going to be a different sound. Uh, you know how they music sound. But right. does it? How did you deal with that? I'm a creator, bro. Like I'm a dreamer. I grew up to music, so like, if you me, you gonna know how to do it. Like that's the best way I can explain it. You feel me? Okay, and the reason I ask you that is because there's different people coming in and out of the studio. Well, right. you have a studio. Yeah. When people come, how do you know what person you gonna make what sound with? What what determines that for you? What's the determining factor? Um, a lot of times people don't know what they need, bro. Okay. Like they know they know what they want, but they don't know how to get it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I was specially gifted. To give you what you need, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I feel so confident in who I am. I'm going to just give you the yes, Lord. When you think about KL, he's sitting in that very seat, man. And uh, we talked about uh, Snoop Dogg. And when he first, you know, came over to No Limit right. and he came in the studio and he was basically, they was working together and Snoop was just standing there. And he said, man, what, what you want me to do? You know, that's what he was telling right. KL. And it would throw it threw KL off because he didn't know that's the way he worked is what he said to right. me. Like, does that take on a factor how each individual is? You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Snoop was. You're with definitely him. gonna work with people different because everybody worked different, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? No, nobody worked the same. I know think what I'm Snoop was used to working with you know with, yeah, with yeah, Death Row, Dre, with whoever he had been working with, and to come over that was a big transition for right. him. Right. How big is that when you've seen somebody work with another producer so long and now they end up dealing with black and mild? I'm going to do me. My thing is through this here, what I, you know, most artists come to me and they get stuck with me. They don't want to work with nobody else. That's how cold it is. That's how cold it is. I heard from a guy that said that when you when you deal with a person's music, it's just because you do it with this person and the next person and that person, right. all these sounds are different. Yeah. How do you, because most producers come with the same sound. You can tell that producer, even Manny Fresh, right? by the way the drums and the way, how do you make yours different? It's just an aspect of life, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like any business, like, you know what I'm saying? Like dealing with business, like you and your wife. You like doing the show with her, right? Yeah, heck yeah. All right then, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you can't do it with everybody. Like you, you're, gonna, you're just going to find out who you can work with. Like, you know what I'm saying? And you just keep, you know what I'm saying, keep it going. And that's just what it is with some of the artists. Some of the artists I click like with like that. And like we can go. Some artists, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not going to answer the phone for you no more. Wow. What did you think about Soldier Slim? Man, Soldier Slim was special. He was special, bro. Did you ever get a chance to talk with him I, or yeah, meet him? I met him one time. I met him one time at a uh, at a teen club one time or whatever, you know. But wow. I really never get a chance to work wow. with him like that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.